circular motion. And as it spins, the string wraps around its waist and then it pulls our stopper here that releases the ball. <laughs> so after the Elsa pulls our little thing out, we're gonna, a rubber ball will run down here through our ramp all the way down that way, which is a linear motion because it's not obstructed by anything else. On to our next step. Step three, the ball hits the ruler and it follows its brief oscillating motion, which goes to step four, which hits <clears throat> this little thing, which will trigger the car into linear motion into the cups. Okay, so basically after the hot wheels hit the cups, they all fall in a linear motion due to the force of gravity, then that sends the weighted Jenga blocks downwards. After the weighted Jenga blocks fall, the, with the string attached and the fixed pulley, which has a fixed rotational motion around a central axis, then that motion pulls the string to activate our next step. So after the pulley pulls the Jenga block out, this nose arc will go down this ramp, which is linear motion because it's not obstructed by anything else, which will then trigger our next step. So after Noah's arc hits the board, it transfers the kinetic energy into the cup, and the cup experiences a simple harmonic motion, and then it transfers the kinetic energy into the books, which makes the books fall down. Uh, due to Ver Newton's first law, these books cannot move unless acted on by a net force, which is the cup that falls down from the ceiling and hits the books. This book has potential energy, and it transfers its energy into kinetic energy, throughout these other books, which creates a domino effect. These books then transfer its kinetic energy to this car, which moves forward and transfers its energy to the books, which falls down and triggers the lever. For this second class lever, when the pre-calculus book falls, it sends Mr. Mueller flying into the trash due to projectile motion. <laughs> oh my god! The marble got in. <laughs> what? No. Dude. Give us a good grade, please. You're bad for us. Please. We would love your pity. <laughs>